welcome to IntelliGear friends and this review of the Phoenix LD20. 6.4 ounces, takes two double A's, 9 to 180 lumens, Cree Q5 LED, uh, you got low, medium, high, turbo, SOS and strobe settings all packed into a hand sized light. This light does things that a lot of more expensive larger lights do and then some. Um, it's got a good quality construction to it. It's solid. It's only three pieces. Uh, O-ring sealed. They, they basically have a waterproof guarantee uh, or rating rather on this light. Um, like if you drop it in a creek you're gonna be okay. You drop it in the gutter you're gonna be okay. Is it a deep sea diving light? No. But you know, you drop this in a bucket of water, you're gonna be okay. It's still gonna work. So let's uh let's get right into it here. You got a nice knurling on the chassis, and um that definitely is not just for looks. You have something to, to grab onto, grab a hold of. Uh, the light comes with this clip, it is removable. And then the operation is pretty straightforward. It takes a little getting used to it first, um, but it's pretty easy. You twist this bezel here for your, your two main menus, if you will, your two main modes. So you have a tail cap on the back here, and um, it's, it's a click type, and then it's a soft tap. So get ready, because here comes the strobe. <laughs> soft tap for strobe and then you have your turbo mode there twist the bezel goes to low tap it once you go to medium tap it again you go to high and then once more for the SOS function now the only thing I don't like about this because I'm, I'm used to using stream lights and police style lights is this cap does not have a momentary on or this um, this tail switch it's not a momentary on you have to actually click it to get it to turn on so that's really my only gripe about the whole light and I can live with that hey guys I forgot to mention that I had to replace the switch after a year of using it almost every night like I was saying it's quality construction you have good uh, you have good threads here it's it's not cheap and you can see they, they carry the anodizing all the way to the end it's a lot of lights they, they'll stop at the threads so um, I thought that was cool um, I went I went out and and got these uh, Sanyo in a loops and they're um they're pretty pretty decent for rechargeables you know, using the light as much as I did, it's not cost effective to be buying disposables. And I'm not really a tree hugger, but you know, it's not that good for the environment either. So that's uh, what I recommend if you, you want to go that route. If you don't, I would recommend getting the, uh, the lithiums, the latest lithium that Energizer has out on the market. It has a good run time. I'm getting about an hour, a little over an hour on a uh, fully charged set of these inner loops. Now I'll do a separate review about those some other time I'm talking about the light today. You do have uh, the o-ring seals and then I'm not gonna remove the bezel but there's also o-ring seal under the bezel as well. So let me put these back in here. Now the light did come with some some nice things, some nice freebies. It came with a carrying uh, pouch that you could hook on your belt. I, I found I didn't really like it because it um it's kind of narrow and it, it's it's soft sided. It, it's not like molded or anything, so it's hard to to get you know deploy it. Um, what I would do it, at work is I would just clip this inside my pocket, so I could just you know grab it real quick. It's right there. <laughs> Um, you set it down, it doesn't roll. Even if you remove the clip, you have these flat spots here, so it, it tends to not roll as much. 
I mean, it roll if you if you roll it, it'll roll a little bit, but it's not gonna roll as far as if it was just rounded. And you can see here, you know, mine's all chewed up. This thing's taken a lot of abuse. <laughs> I've dropped it bunches of times. Um, you got these nice uh, crenulations here, and um, you know that's um, that's kind of a, a nice little defensive thing. If if you gotta bop someone real quick, it, it'll 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 hurt a little bit. And then um, you can see the uh, element down in there, the LED. That's the Cree Q5, and um, puts out a puts out a good light. I'm getting ready to show you that in a moment. So yep, I think I uh, well let's see the cap here. So back here on the cap, you have um, a button guard that prevents it from accidentally getting. You know, you got to put your finger to, to turn it on. And then you have these holes in the guard itself so you can attach um, a, a ringlet like the one supplied here. And um, this is not the original like, lanyard that came with the flashlight. It's from something else. The original one, uh, it broke because I didn't put the uh, ring on. I just had the lanyard go straight through here. And that's a pretty sharp edge so it eventually chewed up the fabric and, and uh, broke. Okay, I'll be right back with you in a second. We'll, we'll check out the, uh, the throw pattern on this on the wall. Okay, and we're back. Alright, so go ahead and turn the light on here. <clears throat> First thing you might notice is there is a lack of a black hole in the middle. I don't know how many hundreds of dollars I've spent on expensive lights and they had a black hole right in the middle and this one was under 60 and no black hole so it's got a nice solid pattern you can see that um, it's pretty concentric it doesn't have very many um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, I can't think of the think of the nomenclature right now but it, it, it it's uniform let's just put it that way <laughs> I'll remember the word when I'm done recording. You know how that goes. So anyways, so there's your low. Then you got your medium and your high. And um, I don't really go by what the uh, the website said. Besides, it's poorly translated from Chinese to English. So I just go by my own mileage. And uh, like I said, I, I pretty much rock with this thing on turbo. That's um, unless I'm, I'm writing out something, you know, then I'll... I'll bump it down to low so that's your high and then um, you have your uh, your SOS but um, getting back to the um, the, the uh, run times on this I don't go by the website uh, what I'm going by is my own use and on turbo there you go there's turbo I get an hour so it works good for me 